Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. It is July 1st. Happy 4th of July week. If you are on vacation this week, enjoy it. If you have the 4th off, enjoy it responsibly. Enjoy fireworks with family and friends. Dave has Wednesday and Friday off, bracketing the 4th, which he gets off for the first time since we moved to Texas without having to take a personal day off. So that will be a change. It'll be nice to have him home for five days. I don't know if we're going to do anything, but that's okay because it is miserably hot and it is in triple digits. That is before the heat index shows up. So if we do anything, it'll be in air conditioned, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and I'm good with that. So, there will probably only be two videos this week, unlike last week, which is good. The other one is filmed and up. And it comes out on Friday. And in the interim, I have a lot I could be filming. We will see if I film any today and tomorrow, or if it all waits till next week. Time will tell. So, what did I read last week? finished four books. Admittedly, I finished one of them this morning before the groceries got delivered. And I'm really only going to talk about two today. So let's talk about the two that are getting a very abbreviated discussion because they're getting either they're either part of a video or they're getting their own dedicated video. Let's talk about the dedicated video itself. That would be Pull Dark by... Winston Graham. This is the first book in the 12 part Pull Dark series. And uh, this is a buddy read with Amanda. Mm. Without giving too much away, I believe the book is misnamed and it should be named Suck Dark. I'll give you a brief video, brief glimpse into the unpopular opinion review that is going to come out this month. I do not understand why it's a modern classic. I do not understand why this is so high on the list of um, books to read. The vernacular is difficult. The quote unquote romantic relationship is a farce and every character in there is despicable. There you go. There's my brief summary. Stay tuned for the longer video describing, explaining why I did not in any sense enjoy this book. Amanda DNF'd it over the weekend. So neither one of us enjoyed it. Okay, so the second book I'm going to talk about is going to show up in my Christmas in July vlog. And that is Bright Lights Big Christmas by Mary Kay Andrews. As you can tell, it's a new book. And this is her Christmas book for 2023. Uh, yep, 2023. Um... I enjoyed this one. There is a mention of the Santa suit in here. You do not have to read the Santa suit to get the reference, but if you've read the Santa suit, you instantly understand without the explanation contained herein. And it was a perfectly lovely Mary Kay Andrews book. It really was. I enjoyed it. It was, you know, exactly what I expected. It was a quick, enjoyable read. Yes, it's a secular read. Yes, it's not a religious in tone read. And that is absolutely fine. 
it is full of family. It's a little insta lovey. It's, you know, it's what I wanted in July. Okay. So now let's talk about the books I'm going to talk about in more depth. So let's talk about the book I finished this morning. That would be Summers at the Saint by Mary Kay Andrews. This is her summer release for 2024. It is a new book. It is fabulous. And unlike her last couple of summer beach read books, this one is a mystery. There's a little romance in it. There's lots of family secrets. So this takes place on the Georgia coast at the hotel known as the St. Cecilia. And our protagonist is Tracy. She is a widow. She is the CEO of the hotel after her husband unexpectedly died in a plane crash four years ago. She has a dying father-in-law. She has a resentful and scheming brother-in-law and his wife. And she's struggling to keep the hotel afloat after the events of 2020 and the slow return to normality. And like all Mary Kay books, this was just perfection in a beach read. I, I don't know how else to put it. Our characters are relatable and human and have wobbles and don't necessarily like other characters right off the bat. One of the main side characters is the murder victim. It has repercussions throughout all of the book. Old secrets come to life. It's just a good, solid, light beach read. It, it is what you come to expect in a Mary Candor's book. It has a good mystery. She has an entire mystery series that is separate from this book, but she knows how to write a mystery. She does it very well in this book, interweaving family drama and a little bit of romance. And there's lots of backstory. And it's just, it's what you expect when you pick up an MKA book. And it's what I wanted. And it was light and not necessarily fluffy, but it was light and what I needed in between heavier books. It was a very good break from Poldark. And it was a very nice break between the next book I finished this week. That was The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. It is the first book in the Stormlight Archive series. And as you can see, let's see if you can see, there are plenty of tabs. This, as you know, was a reread for me. She Who Does Not Reread is rereading books one through three. Um... While I knew parts of the plot, when I first read this book, I did not understand the interconnectedness of the world and the importance of things. I just flat out missed them. Didn't know, you know, of the websites that explain the interconnectedness. Didn't know of Reddit. I just read the book the first time and that was a great experience, but just reading the book didn't do the book justice. And all of those tabs have a different color coordinated, you know, meaning I have um, an entire page explaining what, you know, tab colors mean. <sighs> 
Sanderson writes, so magnificently and he has weaved together this incredibly detailed and complex universe that the reader can easily lose themselves in if you have never read the stormlight archive and you haven't read anything else in the cosmere don't be intimidated to pick up any Cosmere book and just dive in. If you don't get the connections, it's fine. If a word keeps reappearing and you think of it, you can go look it up and see what it's all about. Or you can just read it for what it is, an enjoyable, well-written fantasy story that is... just a compelling read we have um a society at war we have religion we have these incredibly powerful storms that rule everybody's life we have side characters that are really not side characters they're really just another main protagonist It's found family and it's religion and it's everything you want in a book. Even if you haven't read anything else and you're interested and you think, oh my gosh, it's a chunker. I'll never get through it. It is a chunker. They do get bigger as the series goes on. But it's completely worth it if, you know, the chapters aren't incredibly lengthy. Some of them are longer than others, obviously, but they're, they're doable. So even if you just pick it up and you read a chapter or two a day, eventually you will get through it. it you know, it's the, how do you eat a bear? One bite at a time. How do you read the book? One chapter at a time. It's worth the time investment. It is worth the... somewhat i don't want to say struggle because that's the wrong word feeling lost in the beginning to come to this beautiful hopeful conclusion at the end that leaves you hungry for book two which as you know is um the one book i one of the one books i know i'm reading in july and I cannot wait to dive into it. I will probably start it today. Because, you know, I too only read, you know, one chapter at a time. And if I only read 100 pages a week, I'm doing good. If I read 100 pages a week, I, I, won't, I won't get through this in a month. So if I read 200 pages a week, 250 pages a week, I'd get through it in a month. And that's fine, I, you know. I am loving the experience. I am loving the story. I love the interconnected world. I love the fact that over the course of this first book, Kaladin, who is one of our main characters, goes from a young child helping his surgeon father in his hometown to at the end of the book, he is a vastly different person. He is um, a slave who has just been freed. He is the leader of men. He has given the men under him hope and a reason to live. He's found a reason to live himself. And while he is distrustful of those above him, it isn't a blind distrust. And he is willing to question himself. And his assumptions about others. And honestly, if, if you are even remotely interested in fantasy and you find it daunting and you find, you know, you find big books daunting, don't. It, 
one chapter at a time is great. If you don't get everything from the interconnectedness, that's fine. It does not spoil the story. I, first time I read this, I read it electronically. I loved it. I read the first three books that way and didn't understand the world didn't take away from my enjoyment at all. So I highly recommend the Stormlight Archive. I highly recommend any book in Sanderson's Cosmere. They're just, he is a prolific writer and he writes very approachable fantasy. So, okay. What am I going to read this morning? I started another book for the Christmas in July blog. That is the book club hotel by Sarah Morgan. Another new book. I need to get this one read. Probably go to the library this week. And uh, if I can get this one done and return, that would be good. So this is on deck. Also on deck is probably, I have a new, I have one more new book downstairs it's a summer book from the library can't recall the name i'll put a picture right here that's probably next on my list i will start book two in the cosmere this week that is words of radiance i what else jane austen july i'll pick up jane austen something jane austen adjacent this week and uh yeah i don't know other than that, I don't know. I have a plethora of library books downstairs, more than you even saw at the last haul. Maybe I'll, I'll do a flip through short of the newest library books. And I may or may not start this month's book club choice, which is The Ice Swan by Janelle Cizelinski. It is up on the Discord for discussion. I am looking forward to it. And I, I just, the cover, y'all know I love the cover. So hopefully I love the book. Okay. It is a very busy week around here. I am going to go get some stuff done. I hope you all enjoy the 4th of July. I hope you have an amazing fireworks show and nobody gets sunstroke and Everybody gets a chance to rest and relax. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you here next week at the Protagonist Pub.